Hi everyone and welcome to Wild Things. Alex Kearns is owner photographer of Houndstooth Studio and photographs over a thousand pets every year. Uh, she does amazing work and has won 30 awards for her animal photography and many of her images can be seen in local and international books and magazines. We'd like to welcome her to the show. Welcome Alex. Thank you. Now look, tell us a little bit about Houndstooth Studios. What an exciting thing. You must obviously photograph a lot of animals in your time. We can see a few on screen at the moment. Yep. What's the most unusual pet that you have ever photographed? Um, I think they're all a little bit unusual in their own special way. They come in with different characteristics and traits and things that they bring. Uh, I've photographed a few endangered species. Wow. Uh, bilbies and betongs and small Australian animals. Fantastic. Probably not necessarily the most unusual, but the rarest I've photographed was a wallaby who had certain DNA that made him the last of his kind. Oh, wow. So That's he was quite amazing. young. Yeah, from Queensland, he'd come to Perth. So, yep. um, But uh, we photograph everything in the studio from snails that I find in my mailbox. They're not immune <laughs> to a shoot. Um, right. To reptiles. Uh, I've done horses, farm animals, the whole range. Basically, any animal you can think of that you can fit in a studio. Wow. I've probably photographed. That's incredible. Now, like, speaking of hard to handle animals, obviously some of these animals would be a little bit tricky. What are some of your uh, strategies for those that don't want to sit still? Um, firstly, it's actually a great question because the biggest misconception about studio photography is that the animals have to sit still. Right. Being animals, none of them sit still. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> otherwise I'm photographing a thousand very well behaved creatures every year, which is not <laughs> the case. Uh, basically, when they come in, I make friends with them fairly quickly. Right. And they're relaxed and they're happy mm -hmm. and they don't have to sit still. Yeah. Um, part of that is obviously the cameras and, and the lights are very fast, but my experience with animals tr has taught me to find a split second to wow. capture the emotion. So even if they're moving, I'll find that little fraction of a second to capture something. That's incredible. And I guess the camera is set up for that sort of thing, so you can get lots of quick shots as they're yeah, moving. Yeah, um, it's a little bit unorthodox. I shoot with one hand, so okay. I hold the camera in one hand and a toy or, a, or whatever I need in the other. Yeah. Um, but it, the beauty of it too is that it always feels a bit chaotic in the studio. Yeah. The owner only sees a dog moving around and, and being quite crazy. And at mm. the end of it, the pictures all look like they were you know, posing and, and bringing out their character. So the, I guess the owners would be like, oh no, sit still, Fido. But you're just like, no, that's actually good. Yeah, usually. I usually, um, I don't have many rules in there. Mm. So they, some go home less trained than when they arrive. <laughs> um, they're allowed to, you know, jump around and, you know, bounce around and if they don't want to sit, they can stand up. I don't yeah. force them to do anything they don't want to do. So they have they have the best time out of everyone, I think, in the studio. Oh, that's fantastic. That's how you get those shots. Awesome. Now, you do a lot of work for charities as well, such as the RSPCA. Can you tell us what's, why you're doing that and what's involved? Um, yeah, through the business, um, I work with about 30 state, national and international animal charities. In Perth in particular, I work with the RSPCA, Shenton Park Dogs Home and Saving Animals from Euthanasia. Right, okay. um, and what we provide for those charities is either photography services, so actually taking photographs either on site or in the studio, uh, fundraising items for them for their quiz nights and financial sponsorship for that as well, or stock photographs. Um, and at the moment I'm working on two big projects, one for the Bali Animal Welfare Association in Bali. Okay. Uh, we went over there in January and did the first ever studio exhibition, studio shoot, sorry, of Bali animals. Oh wow. So they've never been seen in this sort of way before. Right. And we're running an exhibition of that now in June, which oh, is quite amazing. Fantastic. Where's that going to be held? It's held at the Tompkins on Swan Rec Centre. Okay. Um, we have all the details via our Facebook page, so there is an event tab on there that people great. can go on RSVP. I'll definitely have to come along <laughs> to that. That'd be great. We'd that love to have great. you there. And then yesterday, just yesterday morning, I returned from Cambodia where I was photographing for um, Wildlife Alliance at their sanctuary wow. in Cambodia. Oh goodness me, um, so what sort of animals were you seeing over there? I got to kiss elephants and tigers oh. and otters. Take um, me with you! Oh, it was fantastic, <laughs> you would have loved it. Um, every, all the exotic animals that are found in the Asian region were photographed wow. and that's for a fundraiser in October okay. to raise funds for the Wildlife Alliance and for other uh, international charity organisations. Wow, that's truly amazing. Thank you. <laughs> now <laughs> you've great. done some other work as well for Australian um, Geographic. Yep. What was that project about? Uh, that was a project on Christmas Island. I was commissioned to go up there by the Tourist Bureau to mm. photograph their Bird and Nature Week they have every year. Okay. And people can pay a fee and basically be escorted around the island by a team of uh, scientists and specialists in certain bird and nature areas. Oh, wow. And Australian Geographic, uh, as it happened, um, asked me while I was there if I could photograph for their March, uh, sorry, their May, June issue of the magazine this year. Um, a journalist called Sorrel Wilby, she used to be on the show Getaway. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. She was lovely. She was up there and um, so basically I photographed all the, the pictures for her print article wow. yeah, for that. So that was my first um, assignment with them and it was fantastic. 
Oh, that's fantastic. That's just, you know, a lot of amazing, incredible animals that you're coming across, obviously. Yeah, definitely. And so you've got a website and you've got a Facebook page that people can go to. Yep. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the website is www.houndstooth, mm -hmm. as in dog's fang, houndstooth okay, studio. Okay, good. <laughs> you don't remember. Yep. Um, uh, .com.au. Okay. And there's little tabs on there that link through to our Facebook page or the Facebook page is houndstooth studio. Um, and um, we have about 20,000 followers on our Facebook page, so wow. we update several times a day with everything that we do, including my appearance here today, I made a mention. So Brilliant. Yeah, and hopefully people will uh, yeah, we'll definitely get be aware on. of that. What's your probably most fa like favourite animal out of every single thing that you've photographed? What, what would be a memorable experience for you? Um, a lot of animals, like I love tigers because they're beautiful, yeah, but they're hard to connect with because you have to be behind a fence. And Of course. It's, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> um, it's a little bit hard for me to say. If it was, you asked me a week ago, it would have been something else, but yeah. the elephants that I met on this sanctuary, okay. um, there was quite a large one who'd had very traumatic, they're all rescued animals from poachers right. or um, at the, the exotic pet market. Okay. She'd had quite a traumatic start to life and she had actually harmed people in the past oh, and goodness. I just had this bond with her where she, I'd come up and she would give me kisses with her trunk and oh, wow. blow air on my face, which is a sign, an elephant signal that they quite like you apparently. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> elephants is the Excellent. short answer. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on today. Truly incredible work that you're doing. And um, we look forward to seeing the exhibition coming up and um, wish you well with your amazing work. Thank you so future. much. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you. Thanks everyone for joining us today for Wild Things. If you'd like any more information on Hound's Tooth Studio, just go to our website at www.thecouch.com.au. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, keep it wild.